What's going on everybody? Big J here. Today I'm going to bring you a video on a complete guide to unlock the Wonder Weapon in DLC 1, Dead of the Night. Then upgrade that to level 2 to the Chaos Theory. And then upgrade that to level 3 to Alistair's Annihilator. Now you are able to get this out of the box. Uh, but there's an easy way to get it every time in your game just by looking for symbols around the map that we'll be picking up. There are four different symbols you'll need for the law combination and there's four possible locations for each one. Uh, and you're going to be running around the map anyways. I'll give you every po all 16 possible locations. Uh, the only things you will need to upgrade it are the silver bullets and a shield. So if you don't know how to get either of those things, there's a quick guide on my channel for both. And now when you do upgrade it to the Chaos Theory, it'll add a charge shot to it that has two elemental effects one of them here is the hypnotize I like to call it just well it kind of gets them away from you and there's also a whirlwind effect and then once you upgrade it from the chaos theory Alistair's Annihilator, then it now has four elemental charge effects. It has a fireball. They're somewhat attracted to. It wipes them out. Every one of these wipes them out pretty good. They hypnotize. The shrink. Shrink ray shot and the whirlwind so once you have Alistair's Annihilator we'll have all four of those so we're gonna jump right into getting the symbols first ones the yellow ones are in the forest terrors it could be behind either one of these blocked off gates as you see or either side of the entrance back into the mansion one on the right behind this bush and then one on the left side up on this balcony. Those are the yellows. And we're going to move on to the reds. First location is up here in the master bedroom on the wall. Second is up the steps in the east galley right here on the wall. The third could be in the dining room behind the bar up above this painting on the wall. And the fourth location is down in the wine cellar you just go down and to the right of the wall by look through this window and it could be back here on one of these barrels this one right here so we're gonna move on to the green the greens in the greenhouse terrace look behind this gate here on the left when you come down the steps if it's not there to the left of the vapor wall by is the location number two inside this gazebo on the wall location number three is down by the perk machine to the left behind this gate on the building and if it's not in any of those the fourth location is down to the right side of the perk machine just look over this gate you'll see it back on this wall so the fourth blue symbol is in a cemetery if you head up the right side and right at the steps between the cemetery and the mausoleum you'll see it possibly on this tombstone. Location 2 is just up from that on the right side on this small building. The third location is back to the left of the fast travel. If you look over this wall it possibly could be there. And the fourth location if you come down from the mausoleum and back to the cemetery path to the right side right by the gate to the path it could possibly be on the tombstone. Once we have all four you can make your way back to the library and input your code and hit square X to interact with the lock and it will unlock it and you'll get your free wonder weapon Alistair's Folly. Now to upgrade that, like I said, uh, you'll need the silver bullets. So get any weapon, regular weapon with the silver bullets and we're going to need to kill a werewolf with the silver bullets and when you do that it'll drop 
werewolf chaos material that we will be taking and upgrading into prima material in the greenhouse laboratory and that is one of two pieces needed to upgrade Alistair's Folly to the level 2 to the Chaos Theory. So once you go ahead and wipe him out with the silver bullets, just go to where you drop them and you'll see the Werewolf Chaos material. And then here's where you need the shield. Go into the library behind the silver bullets bench and melee this wall bookshelf and that will give you your second part. Once you have both, head over to the Greenhouse Laboratory and you will have to input the Werewolf Chaos material into this machine to turn it into Prima material. Then once it's done, it'll pop it out as Prima material and then just head over to this workbench right here. Interact with that to build the Chaos Theory. Now that you have the Chaos Theory, we can work on the three parts to upgrade it to Alistair's Annihilator. Head on back up to the mausoleum and on this railing you'll see lights lit up differently and one of them will be more orange, have an orangish color to it than the others. And you need to hit these in order for whichever one is lit up and has a slightly different color. There's four you'll have to do and you have to do it in order. If you mess up you will have to wait and redo it. Once you hit the fourth one, it'll spawn out this bat. Just go ahead and take him out and that will drop the bat chaos material. One of three pieces we need to upgrade the chaos theory for the Alistair's Annihilator. Uh, for the second part, you could do this one anywhere. I just in this video did it here. You'll need to get the vampires and kill them with a charged shot of the whirlwind. And when you do, they'll drop this yellow liquid, the, the bat vial. And you'll have to pick up those until you have enough of it. Uh, you can look in your inventory. You see here. Once it's overflowing, that means it's filled and you have enough of it when it looks like that there. Then make your way back to the cemetery. And if you take the left side up the cemetery path, as soon as you go through the gates, if you look straight ahead, you'll see a casket that's glowing red. Go ahead and interact with that, and you'll summon a red vampire. They're a little tougher. They have a jump attack, so be careful. Now we're going to be getting our second piece, our vampire chaos material from him. So, he'll make that little growl noise whenever you take him out. So go ahead, wherever he died, and pick up the vampire chaos material. That's two or three. So now, in the forest, there's these patches that have blue mushrooms growing over them. And what you're going to need to do is get a hypnotized charge shot on a zombie right as they're walking over that and what that'll do is that'll force him to dig in that location now it could be any one of these that changes from game to game so you might have to do this on a few of these patches till you get the right one but once you do he'll dig it up and it's easy to see now that you have all three make your way back to the greenhouse laboratory and now two more times we're gonna have to upgrade both the vampire and the bat chaos material and uh, the primo material. If you're doing this whole thing, uh, it'll be your third time doing this, and there is a trophy for using upgrading to primo material three times in one game. So the first time you do that, you will get a trophy. So it makes a little ding when it's ready. It does take like 10 seconds for it to transform it into the primo material. So once you hear the little ding, you know it's done. And go pick it up. Once you have all three of those parts now, you can make your way over to this bench. And that will give you Alistair's Annihilator. Like I said, it has four charged elemental shots. It really does work pretty well on the zombies. Zombies, uh, the elementals don't work on the werewolves, but they work on the vampires. You see there was a red vampire, took it out round 15, one shot. Uh, there's a good one of the shrink ware. There's a trophy for, I earned right there for, well, uh, shrinking 10, 15, something like that, zombies in one shot. 
So, Shrink Ray, Whirlwind, Fireball, Hypnotize. And, uh, yeah, it works pretty good. So, I'm going to leave you with some footage just the, the Alistair's Annihilator going to work. And uh, if you found this video helpful, drop a like and subscribe.